Hello, everybody, and welcome to this little how-to recording on uh, creating alerts in JD Edwards, taking advantage of the latest and newest uh, tools, features, user-defined objects, and particularly just three of them. There are so many that make it easy to use JD Edwards and more powerful uh, functionality behind the scenes. Uh, so today I'm just going to go through a process of creating an, al an alert in JD Edwards. We'll start with a query, turn that into a watch list, and then from the watch list we'll use the orchestrator to create an alert that users can subscribe to, get the email message about the alert, text message on their phone, um, or whatever, uh, however they want to get it. You can even use things like Postman so that it'll pop up a message in a browser. So without further ado, I'm just gonna jump in and walk through the process um, uh, of creating these this, this alert. And there are many, many use cases of it. To this one, I'm just gonna use around supplier uh, uh, payments, supplier invoices, if you will. And my scenario here is as an accounts payable manager, you want to be informed when an unusually large invoice is entered into the system. So what we're going to do is we're going to just use a traditional supplier ledger inquiry in here. And I'm just going to pull in the, a gross amount field, right? And I'm going to create a query and say, okay, anything over $20 million is a very large invoice and I want to be informed if this situation arises. So in my system here, I have two different invoices in here that are over $20 million. So I've got this query just to start it. And then up in the upper right hand corner here, you see the little funnel that says manage queries. We're going to manage the query. And by doing that, we'll say add that field to it. We'll create it as a, a, and save this as a query, and we're gonna call this large invoices. We give it a name, and now since this is a query and a watch list and an alert notification that I'm gonna to wanna to share with others, we're gonna start by uh, publishing and making it public for other folks to use. Um, it's kind of a key step here. Once you do your first query and you request to publish it and make it shareable, then you do the same thing with the watch list and the same thing with the, the notification, the alert, and that, and and you can then share that with other users. So by me clicking that and saying a request to publish, um, I'm also the individual in this system who would approve that and make it uh, shareable to other users. So I'm using this program, P98220U, you work with user-defined objects. I'll simply check on the status and look for anything pending approval. And there you'll see my uh, large invoices query um, is out there waiting to be approved. Uh, so I'm gonna approve it. I mean, this is not always a normal scenario. So you quite often you have a, uh, a business analyst or some other user who would do this, but for purposes of our scenario, we're gonna walk right through this. And, and so I've shared it. You'll see the status went from pending approval to shared. All right, so there's the status of this object. And the next thing we will do is we'll say, who is going to get to use this and see it on their screen. So we'll go into security and I'm gonna assign it to the um, AP manager JDE group role, if you will. I'm also gonna keep it and assign it to myself so that I can keep on working with it um, fully. And you may you know, share this with any other user or roles or groups within the organization. So now once I've done this, I found it just most efficiently to just go ahead and log out and log back in to clear the cache uh, and pick up the new security cache. So um, uh, I'm gonna go through that, that step here. So I'm gonna log back in. We'll go right back to our, our supplier ledger inquiry and we should be able to see now that a shared a uh, query called large vouchers has been made available to me. Once I just click on it, there are my two large vouchers and that's great, 
Um, but I still would have to, on a normal basis, go to the supplier ledger inquiry and look for that and then execute that query. And that's not being very proactive with me from the system. So the next step we'll do here, and if you see the third icon over here, so there's queries, and then this little flag icon, that's your watch list uh, icon. We'll click on, on that one. We're gonna say create a, a, a watch list. We can color code it and say over five, it'll change colors. I think by default is like, it'll change to uh, red and then it'll go to black, you know, with the, the, the uh, thresholds. Um, I don't have to put those, I can give it some description, you know, um, and say, you know, invoices greater than $20 million, right? Just as a notice. And the same thing, so once I save this, I can use the same name, which I recommend doing because the watch, you can, if you ever want to change the values and the parameters of your watch list, you can just change the query and the watch list will pick it up. Um, and it's easier to identify which watch list belongs with which query if you keep consistency in the naming conventions between them. So I'm going to keep it the same and uh, call it law, uh, large invoices. Uh, let me fix my little typo here. Resave that. And then in the same mode here, so now when we look at this, you will see the, uh, the, in the watch list manager, uh, I'm going to go ahead and request to publish this one now in the same respect. So now even before, you know, leaving, if I go back up here um, and I um, go back and show you here in my watch list this you'll see I've got large uh, invoices pending approval in my little watch list flag that's available to me um, and it's pending approval so we're going to go back in the same application here as the uh, 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 business analyst or system admin if you will find that large invoice and we're going to go ahead and approve it and then do the same routine of sharing it with who we want to get access to that watch list. So anybody who uh, has the AP Manager uh, JDE role associated to them, and I can show you, I've got some other users, will now have that appearing in their watch list uh, scenario. Um, there is a public oftentimes you know, uh, watch list uh, role. I don't recommend doing that because you can end up publishing so many watch lists and then when they're querying and uh, taking up system resources, it's just not good for, for the system. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and, and save that. So now I'm just as I did before, I've, I've saved that and we're gonna go ahead and sign out to clear security cache. Um, and when I log back in now, I don't have to go any further other than to my watch list and, and I can see that uh, large invoices is a shared watch list and it takes me right to that watch list, uh, to those uh, uh, vouchers and we can drill into those vouchers, okay? So we're moving right along, very, very good. Now, the next step to this is say I'm not even in the system, I wanna get an email or I want to get a text message or some other, note, you know, a different type of notification. In JDE, there's this next icon, it's a little bell, which are your notifications, right? Uh, and uh, so, you know, I don't have any right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over into the Orchestrator Studio. In the Orchestrator Studio now, I'm going to create a new notification, an alert, if you will, and very simply, use my watch list as the basis of that notification. So we're gonna call this large invoices. Again, try to keep the naming convention consistent. And here we're gonna base it on a watch list. So when we pick that type, we go into watch list, we can select our watch list. There's our, our large invoice uh, watch list. We can uh, edit the message, you know, um, this is what's gonna show up there, our invoices, you know, greater than $20 million, you know, you know, in the system. There's more you can do within it to, you know, queer, pull up the values and say what invoice numbers, 
Um, quite often, you might want to uh, attach a link to it that says, okay, when you get this notification, what do you want to do? Um, in our scenario here, we're going to want to go right to the P, P, uh, P0411, um, uh, the uh, invoice program. And we'll use the, uh, I think we'll use the, do, 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 do. We'll just go to the D form um, as, a, as a default. Uh, there's some other settings we can do in here. But in the same respect, we can now save this. And even before doing anything else, we can test it to make sure it works. But I'm going to go ahead and the same thing I did before, I'm going to request to publish it, just like all the other user-defined objects uh, that, are, that we've been, been doing. Say OK. So now I can just close out of that and I come back over into my JD Edwards uh, 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 use UDO admin application, the P98220U. Look for one that's pending approval. And now we say, who is this going to be made available to? Now there is, this is not necessarily saying I'm assigning it to them that they're going to get this notification. They would still have to subscribe to it. Or as a user, as a system admin, if you will, you can subscribe uh, you, multiple users to this in, in one in one uh, application say, okay, I want everybody, you know, with the AP manager role to get this, um, but otherwise we can let people subscribe to them and I want to show you that in a minute. So we've shared it and now we're going to security wise make it available. The AP MGR JDE group and also myself just said I can keep on control uh, and working with and editing, editing it. So, okay. so now we, we are done, done with that step. Now, um, as a user, I have the option and or other users have the option to manage notifications. So these are the two, because I am the system administrator, if you will, as well, I can assign subscriptions, which means I could say, uh, I want this large invoices notification assigned to these different roles or these different users. But I can let as a, as a user who has security to access that, go ahead and subscribe to it. So by going in here, uh, we can add the subscription to the, uh, to the um, large invoice uh, uh, that we just did. And I'll notice, so here is where I say, I wanna get it sent to my email or multiple emails, right? Um, You can also change that um, to a, uh, an SMS text messaging. Like I think it's uh, like for my case, it would be my phone number at verizon.com or something like that. And it will send the text message. It can also, uh, will also send it in a notification list. Uh, some other features, if you're doing other things, you'll notice that they, you, they might have inputs to it, you know, where if you have the notification that says, oh, if I, if I belong to this, this company, company one, then I want to get the notification. If not, and you'll notice here, so large invoices is now my personal, uh, uh, is just, I subscribe to, 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 that, to that watch list. Now, then on a regular basis back in the studio, when you have your notifications, you would set those up. Oh, I have to log out to pick up the security. Sorry about that one. Always remember when you're doing these UDOs and security basis, the, the cache doesn't clear real, real quickly, so you're better off uh, logging out and logging in to pick up the 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 the, the caching. Uh, normally, now I would set this on a schedule, maybe run every hour or in the mornings or in the evenings or whatever it may be. But in our scenario here, we can go ahead and test it, dispatch the notifications, and execute it. 
It should come back and give us a value of of success or failure. Um, and that's just for, because of my email setting, um, but back into my uh, JD Edwards system and, and my environment. And if I refresh, you see now I have a notification that our large invoice is greater than $20 million. I click on it and go right to the payment information uh, screen on it, right? Probably picked the wrong form. But that is the scenario uh, for creating an alert in JDE and, and one simple and three simple steps uh, and sharing them and, and publishing them. So thank you for watching and I hope you found this valuable.